I wish I could say this was the craziest zone I build in this video, but I'm not so sure. Euron 120 has built a fully functional gun in TOTK. He can even move it around with Ultra Hand, and it continues to shoot enemies. Sit tight, this episode's gonna be a good one. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. War is changing. Oif has created a death drone that literally power washes enemies to death. After torturing Koroks throughout their playthrough, Chokarab decided to build this little guy a swing. The link spinning wheels create the forward and backwards momentum like a little engine. Introducing the Death Snake. Zelda Game 8 has built an unstoppable war machine. It's got shock absorbers for rough terrain and Link is protected by this handy cover. There's very little that can stop it. Well, maybe a big hill. When you grow tired of tearing through Hyrule with your mech, or torturing Koroks, enjoy a bit of downtime at Cody's fairground. Geneva Convention? More like Geneva Suggestions at this stage. Players continue to find ways to torment enemies and Koroks, and this one is pretty inventive. I like how it's toggleable. Some machines aren't built to ride, they're built to observe. Who's hungry? Today's special menu includes... Koroks? If only players use their engineering ability for good. PM calls this build the Korok Motors F-150 Hydraulic 4x4. Smart use of springs to create functioning shock absorbers. Trung is role-playing as America, and he heard the Bow Coblin have oil. So much freedom.
Das Matt has built a Trojan horse. Ganondorf isn't going to know what hit him when this thing rocks up to the castle gates. After a failed attempt to storm the castle, Matt tries to take it to the chasm. This is getting ridiculous now. Soul Banana has built a gun dam to terrorize Hyrule. when modern military equipment rolls into Hyrule. If you're looking for a better way to launch wings, Korok has built this contraption. Dreamonto calls this contraption the bully, for reasons that are about to become very obvious. It seems that Link is no longer above breaking the Geneva Convention. Nintendo dubs this monstrosity the Bow Coblin Death Cage. Did we just witness a war crime? This is what peak traversal looks like. Introducing the air segue. Simple, but highly effective. This build only requires three parts. A steering stick and two fans, making it super cheap to build. Darth Father, whoa, spoiler alert found a way to combine wheels with wings to create a multi-functional vehicle.
phallic robots seem to be on many players' minds. Mufasa calls this contraption Auto Boner. Go forth, you magnificent monster. There's a phrase getting thrown around underneath TOTK clips. If it works, it works. This is Soup Daddy's doohickey contraption, and it just works. One of my favourite comments about this clip was, it looks like it keeps going out of pure spite. So Liz is a 3D animator and has a lot of experience rigging 3D models. She's using some of that rigging experience to create clever contraptions in TOTK, like this engine. Attaching halberds to the end gives it a practical use. Fishing has never been easier. Attaching a shock emitter to the front of your boat electrocutes the fish. Genius. The trick to defeating the bow goblins, like winning any modern war, is to achieve air superiority. Mad Polygon has created a bomber that controls the skies over Hyrule. When Liz isn't building working engines in TOTK, she's inventing new forms of transport. She's attempting a wheel bike inspired by General Grievous. Mission success. No Frogs has come up with this paddle boat design. The thing that makes it particularly cool is that it doesn't use fans. Instead, it uses wheels to turn the paddles and create motion, which take way less energy than fans. This is probably one of the smartest bike builds we've seen so far. The trick is to use a stabilizer between the two wheels to ensure the bike always stays upright while riding it. Our Desen has built an armoured personnel carrier equipped with lasers and has brought it along to try and take down a flux construct. Keep an eye on the construct's health. Those lasers are doing the Lord's work. <laughs> it's 
so sticking a stabiliser on a bike prevents it from going uphill. Tio Many has discovered a contraption that allows the stabiliser to stop the bike from falling on its side, but still allows it to have traction going uphill. The trick is to stick a stabiliser on a freestanding wheel. This is probably the most insane off-road vehicle we've seen. It's been doing the rounds on Chinese social media sites. What makes this buggy fairly unique is this. It's four-wheel drive and has built-in suspension. I bet you're curious to see how it drives though, right? Probably the smoothest ride in the whole of Hyrule. Warfare in Hyrule has evolved. Pabello's tank uses a construct head to automatically target enemies. Once they're in range, it activates every Zonai device and unleashes firepower upon him. He's about to roll up on a pack of Bow Coblin and put this thing to work. It starts well, but ends. Not good. For all you farmers out there, a sprinkler. Schmidtface has built a machine loosely inspired by Howl's moving castle. Just keep in mind that I did say loosely inspired, although it does move as elegantly as it does in the anime. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.